Welcome back, my friends, to the Arab-Israeli War. We are actually the second Arab-Israeli War. We're continuing forward with the forces of Israel, and we've actually moved most of our units already. As you can see, we've already called in some shots on this unit. We've called in some artillery strikes back here, and especially on that 100-point area and the 100-point area over here. These are all areas that we need to take on the way to Rafah. We also have, of course, some tanks here. These guys have already fired last turn. If you guys want to see that, you should definitely go and check out the second part of this series, which I will try to link in the comments down below. For now, we're going to end the turn and turn it over to the Arabs. Let's see what happens, guys. It's a little weird. Wait a minute. Ah, I think I know what happened. So, check this out, guys. This is really cool. Um, we got medium trucks up here. And I love this system because it doesn't let you end the turn until you actually show that you've spotted this. Um, I really like that. So I'm sure that these medium trucks probably have men inside. Sure enough, you can tell by the helmet there that they have men inside for sure. So we're going to head south with these guys. They may not be able to make it all the way. That's about as far as they can go. Makes sense. Pretty much, anyway. Um, I want to see if we can get our tanks a little bit closer here. And basically get them to assist with this attack. But I think that they've, we've already moved them last turn. So yeah, they're not going to be able to move. These guys can move a little bit. Uh, and we can actually probably pop out some units here from the half track. So let's do that. Ah, uh, no action points. Alright guys, we're turning it over to the enemy. Before we do though, I want to make sure we don't have action points here or any units uh, that could be used because actually I made a mistake. I moved these troops here despite the fact that we could still unload some units and that's a big no-no. A huge no-no um, because we could actually lose some units here if they attack and if they're in the trucks, well, we just lost them for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Now right now we don't have enough points to unload everybody, but we'll unload who we can and take shots at who we can as well. It looks like right now, not close enough to really take any shots, and we've also got some minefields surrounding the area. So not the greatest uh, positioning in the world. Here we go, we dropped another group of armored units. And I'm surprised that these guys can't fire, but I think it's because of the actual land. Uh, the land here and the action points, but we have to get up on these hills if we want to start firing at the enemy. All right, nobody in those, that's fine. And, ooh, another 60 millimeter mortar, guys. We can call in another strike, I believe. No, 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 no. I don't know how to undo that. Damn it, how, how do I undo the mortar attack? All right, let's look for the 60 millimeter mortar here. Oh, man. All right, guys. Well, this is kind of not really funny. Um, but, uh, hey, friendly fire happens in every war, am I right? So we'll see what happens here. I'm still going to try to move these guys away. It doesn't look like I'm going to succeed. Well, here we go, guys. We just helped the enemy a little bit. And it looks like there's another medium truck arriving over here. Ooh, nice. Some more reinforcements. Drive them up as much as we can. And we'll unload them eventually. Of course, right now, we're not really focused on unloading. We're just focused on getting them to a specific area. Same with these guys. They might be ready to move. Oh, yeah, baby. We're going to get these guys up to the front. And those units will be out very soon. Looks like some of our military units are actually still able to move, so I haven't used up all of our movement points. But we do want to be careful. We, we don't want to move too much. And if we can get up on that hill, that would be just perfect. It doesn't look like we can, so we will end the turn. Here we go, guys. All right, this is enemy artillery. It looks like we, we moved up specifically to miss this enemy arty. Um, so we basically went ahead, we moved our forces forward, and hopefully this is not going to hit us. Wow, so they're, I don't know why they're firing over there, um, but for whatever reason, they're doing some indirect fire all the way up there in the north. I guess they expected our trucks full of infantry to arrive already, but it's going to take them a while to get down there. <laughs> Looks like 
Look at that, man. They have so much artillery, they're just using it really poorly. I'm, I'm not one to speak, because we just bombed our own targets. Now let's see what the damage is like. And they're also dropping some smoke here, which may indirectly help us, actually. Um, let's see what happens. It's, of course, their move now. Okay, they actually took out one of our M3s, guys. That's dangerous. They're firing on the light machine gun, and I assume they'll take it out with the tank. We tried to put the machine gun in the rubble here, so that we can get some good shots on the enemy mortar teams. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Ooh, damn, son. One M3 down. They even took down an M7. Oh, we've got to be careful. This is not a picnic, guys. Nice. We returned fire and killed the 52nd Rifle Company there. Nice shot, boys. Our tank fired and reduced by one. Good shooting. Well, they missed, but still. Good effort, right? Now, unfortunately, one of our uh, mortars had to retreat. Now, maybe, maybe, I don't think so. Maybe that's the 60mm mortar. But I think that 60mm mortar is all the way up in the northeast, so we're still going to get hit by our own units. Oh, boy. So we've got to wipe out this initial infantry line here. They're going to try firing at these units that just moved up. We just got these guys up here, the engineers. No effect. All right. Oh, boy. No effect. Man, you engineers are lucky. I love the return fire here. And we reduced by three, guys. The 55 rifles, three were down. Great shooting by our guys. Right, a lot of enemies moving up here, and they're taking locations in the same area. I'm not sure. It's a universal carrier. Okay, on the right side. So I don't think that this thing has any sort of defensive capabilities, as far as I can tell. The attack, the assault is one. Yeah, I don't think this thing can even shoot. So it looks a lot scarier than it actually is. And if we can target those things and waste them before troops get poured out, we're going to be doing our men a major service. So we're approaching the Rafa Junction here. And I guess we can maybe call this episode the gunfight at Rafa Junction. We're approaching the Rafa camps. That camp is worth 250 if we can get there. So we've got so much ground to cover here. And the enemy looks like they're starting to pull back to the main defensive point at that main camp. They may let us take these locations fairly easily, leaving, of course, a few men back to sacrifice themselves for jihad uh, and try to stop us. Although, remember here, we're actually fighting an organized army, not jihadists. We are actually fighting the Egyptians, although they certainly have some uh, groups working with them um, in other parts of the campaign that are jihadi groups um, against us. So we have to see what happens here. There's a lot of enemies here. We should have dropped our artillery on those spots, but how could we know that they were going to move there? That would have been an excellent hit. Getting really close. Not sure what the benefit is for them to get that close. Um, especially since they didn't fire. I guess they're just trying to basically put a human meat shield in front of our units. That's the only thing I can determine there. Get those tanks out of there. You better. We were going to target those tanks, but I don't think we can now. And they're Archer tanks. So if anybody knows or wants to put up some information about the Archer... Uh, you can, of course, put it in the comments down below. We always love feedback. We've even had some awesome feedback from uh, some Israeli, um, not ex-soldiers, but Israeli citizens that know some about the war, and it's been really helpful. So please, please keep providing feedback, guys. As you can see, it looks like they're actually escaping from Rafa, and they might be trying to escape our tanks that are on the way.
and wow, so that's the Brigade HQ. They're moving it really far from Rafa. They're definitely pre uh, preparing for our tank assault, and I was thinking of, like, basically softening up these targets initially. Now I'm thinking of just moving right in and attacking uh, with the tank units. You know, we, we can't, we, I mean, we have plenty of, well, we don't really have plenty of time. we got enough time, uh, but we can't just sit around shooting at targets. We've got to make ourselves useful here. Lieutenant Colonel Doka and Colonel Badani. If we could kill those guys, we'd greatly increase uh, the morale on our side and decrease it on the Egyptian side. Right, getting some guys into the trenches. Nice return fire. We didn't manage to do any damage, but... Oh, wait a minute. Still no effect. We've actually got some half tracks in that area, and we can use that to hit the guys on the cliffs. Nice shooting, boys. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's see how this already does. Some of it's going to hurt us. Some of it's going to hurt the enemy. Um, the good news is we did just get some more reinforcements. So we're continually getting some reinforcements. Uh, doesn't look like we hit the rifles there on that first shot. What about here? Okay, no effect on the AT gun so far. Boom, and that was actually an airstrike. Another airstrike there, and I think there we managed to get some really good kills on enemy vehicles. Reduced by one, a bunch retreated, a bunch disrupted. Really good shooting there. Firing again, and hopefully we get a few more kills here. Good shooting, boys. Took another one out, guys. Eliminated a light truck and reduced another one by one. Now, we have no idea if those light trucks actually had people inside. Look at that. We just eliminated an 81 millimeter mortar. Um, and Lieutenant Colonel Aladami, we're trying to kill him here. Maybe we'll get a lucky strike. And a battalion HQ. Nice! We wiped out the AT gun, boys. So we really targeted Colonel Adani here. He seemed to have escaped. No! We killed him! We got Colonel Adani, guys! And a rifle company. We just eliminated Colonel Adani. We threw almost all of our arty on that side. And look, it looks like, in fact, that mortar um, that got moved back was the one doing the friendly fire. So we actually managed to get it out of the way, guys. That is amazing. Now, of course, we got a Jeep here with a machine gun. I know exactly what we need to do, and that's to target that rifle brigade. Disrupted. Good. Not bad, boys. Not bad. They're retreating. We want to follow that up with some shots from our SMG-48 team. So they probably are uh, armed with Uzis. The Uzi is an Israeli submachine gun. A lot of people don't know that. We just eliminated the rifle brigade. Let's actually take a look here. Are these guys armed with Uzis? Trying to get the F2 button here. Oh, it's not. That's weird. There we go. Um, after the War of Independence, an effort was made to standardize the organization, structure, and weapons of the infantry platoons with weapons bought from Czechoslovakia. Wow, the SMG platoon consists of Mauser 98 rifles and an MP40 and Sten submachine guns. So German uh, submachine guns, essentially, here. I mean, that is amazing. That's really, really cool. Um, let's go ahead and fire. Talk about using your enemy's uh, weapons against, the, against them. In this case, they're using, you know, weapons that the Wehrmacht used during World War II. Let's go ahead and fire here with our Jeep. Reduced by one. Beautiful. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use sort of a leapfrog maneuver here, and I think it'll work pretty well. And so, like, for instance, when I shoot with that unit, you know, I've, I've wasted their action points. I'm going to need to move up with this unit. So, sort of a shoot-and-move uh, technique here. We're going to be stopped along the way. We're going to be we're going to have issues, of course. But it's just a start. Um, I want to actually see. I'm, I would be fine with if we still have action points using them here, and in fact we do. Fire at the rifles. Hit those guys up on the hills, boys. 
Alright. Keep it up, boys. Keep it up. Remember, these guys just have one action point. No effect. And I think the entrenched position are going to give them a significant advantage in terms of defense here. But we still got lucky there. Look at that. They retreated. We didn't kill any of them, but they got the hell out of there, and they got the hell out of there fast. And we're going to move this unit up. So we're finally on the hill here, on the cliff with the enemy. And at this point, I'll start trying to eliminate units up here with our rifle platoon. Nice. Retreated, and we could probably kill this guy if we get a decent shot. And we got one guy in that unit. Retreated again, man. Uh, let's see if we can get a shot on this fellow here. This group of fellows, I should say. And we eliminated another rifle brother. Great work. Okay. I'm going to keep moving forward with these guys, too, even if we have to end up charging. Whoa! That did not... That was strange. I don't know how else to explain it. It looked like we were about to charge the enemy. Move up here, and everybody's going to open fire on that target. Beautiful. Good work, boys. Reduced by one. One killed. Good enough. Let's get another shot. Ah, we might still be able to move with at least some of these men. Nope, nope, and... The machine gun can move. Interesting. If this guy can still fire, I'm going to fire at that unit there. Ah, you got lucky. But you guys did not. Eliminated another group, guys. And, of course, we're going to keep on moving, boys. Non-stop. We are on the move. We're about to take that, that area. We're probably about to take this area. I don't think the Egyptians have much that can stop us. Our infantry, as far as I can tell, and you guys can give your opinions in the comments down below, but so far our infantry seems far superior to the enemy. Um, there's almost no comparison. So if we can keep this up, I think we can do all right. All right, grab these boys. Come on, guys. I know, I know. We still have enemy units over here. I'm, I haven't forgotten them. And over here, too. Good shooting, boys. Reduced by two. And actually, oh, that was two different re reductions there. Maybe we reduced by four. Now, with our tank, I definitely want to move our tanks up. They're trying to stop us with this artillery strike. Make us hold back a bit. That's not going to happen. And we're right up against these bastards now. I think we can take them out. Nice. Eliminated. What did I tell you guys? No effect. Nice. Got a hit on the rifle platoon and reduced by three, guys. That's a major reduction. We've also got a leader here with us, if I'm not mistaken. Um, no, this is actually an 81 millimeter mortar. So actually what we've done is we've gotten it closer to the enemy, which is great. Um, we can get basically closer shots on them. And look over here. This is the real danger zone. That's going to be where most of the enemy troops are going to be. Ooh, sneaky. As long as we can still get some shots off, I'm going for them. Nice. And this is... I don't know why they're called carrier rifles. That's a bit strange. I don't believe we can use the F2 on enemy units, but we did just eliminate the squad. So whatever the hell they are, pretty damn ineffective against us. Reduced by one. Good shooting half-track. The good thing about these half-tracks is even after movement, they're usually able... You know, obviously, you can't use up their full movement points, but they're usually able to keep on firing. That distance, I think each hex is uh, 250 meters, so this would be like a, a kilometer, essentially. Oh, nice! And he got one at one kilometer. I guess that meant when you're spraying an area with machine gun fire, you're likely to get a hit. If you don't believe me, watch my uh, Graviteam Tactics videos. Over with these guys, we'll move them up here. We don't want to go through the minefield, though. Oh, okay, that's right, they've moved. I forgot. Um just have so many guys on the field right now so this area is still getting struck actually by our guys but it gives us time to move away <laughs> and we'll actually try to go around with this unit so we'll take a different approach we'll attack from the north over here uh, and with these units i want to get them up here and fighting as soon as possible especially since we've got an at gun right there and an at gun against half tracks or trucks that's like a hot knife through butter all right come on boys Nice. Eliminated the six-pounder, guys. That was 
awesome. Like, right away on turn one, we eliminated a six-pounder gun. Obviously, this is not turn one of the war, but I mean, you know, on his first movement there. And no effect on that second six-pounder, but give it time. Give it time, boys. We also have a half-track here. This fella that still has a guy inside, or still has a unit inside. So we're going to see if we can deploy that unit. All right, so it's not him. What about this guy? There we go, guys. And now we've got some more armored 52B units up here. And, of course, I'm going to target the AT gun if I can. It doesn't look like our guy can fire. Can our half-tracks fire? No. They've used up their shots. Now, we've got plenty more to do, guys. We've got some, some tank attacks up here in the north. Uh, all sorts of things that we need to focus on. But this video is getting up to 20 minutes long. And as much as I love this game, um, we do need to increase the view count. Uh, we need to increase, um, you know the amount of comments down below. If you can do that, I will absolutely get these episodes out faster. But I'll be honest with you, um, this series is a tough one. It's a tough one to shoot. Uh, it's also a pretty tough one to recreate um, because essentially, um, you know, we need to come back to this. We need to remember what we've done in the last episode and we need to keep on building on it. And as you guys can see, every turn requires a tremendous amount of actual movement, which is kind of cool. Um, but at the same time, a little, little detrimental. We'll move the trucks up. These trucks are chock full of Israeli troops. So we want to get them to the front line. And we want to get, the, get them there safely and quickly. That damn AT gun in the way. I don't know how that can happen. Nice. Dropped one of our light machine guns there. He can't reach the AT gun. Ooh. Nice. We can do some artillery strikes. Okay, there we go. Reduced by one and disrupted. Not bad. Um, so anytime, obviously, a crew like that loses a member, it's gonna it's gonna damage them quite a bit. Um, I'm gonna move the tank up here now. And I'm gonna t t completely target that six pounder gun. Wow, I'm really surprised. We disrupted it, but did not kill it. Anyway, guys, if I keep playing, I'm never going to stop. And for some of you, that might be awesome, but I think I need to get a rest here. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like button. Comment down below what you'd like um, or how long you'd like the episodes in the future, and try to follow that. Thank you again, guys. Take care, and don't forget to share.